Okay. <laughs> We're going to do Karen with the Shadow Escapes. So, connecting with Karen so we can get a little mini reading here. Oh, that card just fell out. Guess that's our card. Way to go. Take a look at that. It's the strength card. So it's hard to see with this um, with this deck because it's small, but So we have another lion with the strength card. So, you know, we have the strength card come up with the lion in our general reading. Just have the strength card fall out with this fairy scapes. Uh, <clears throat> And I'm being guided to use my angel tarot book because it is a lot more dynamic when it comes to, uh, or not dynamic, just detailed, I guess is a better word. Oh, and you know, I can use their number differently. They're in a different order in Angel Tarot versus everything else. <laughs> um, so we're going to see what it says in our, in the book that it came with. Courage, calm, composure, and patience, compassion, persuasion, and soft control, tempered force, managing impulses to control anger and force rather than be manipulated by them. Unshakable resolve is what you will see. Sorry, unshakable resolve is what will see you through to the desired end. Yeah, and that's why there's always a lion shown with the strength card because the strength is about quiet, quiet strength, not brute strength, not physical strength. It's about it's about love and compassion and um, and self and being in in love with yourself and being strong enough to get through the different layers of of shit to get to that strength point. So here we are, strength. The strength card is about ex exercise, exercising the desires of our will in a way where no one is harmed. This card is named for the type of firm resolve where we go within and find that our baser instincts have been tamed. And with that taming, we become stronger. Often for true kindness to come forth, we must find it within ourselves to forgive. We're asking to let go of any judgment of ourselves for uh, or others and view those around us with forgiveness and tolerance. As we mentioned in chapter two, the strength card was 11 in tarot for centuries until the writer weight deck flipped its position with the justice card in 1909. In order to keep the intended flow of the dreamer's journey intact, we chose to return its original position. That's, that's why I said it's different than any other any other deck. In our journey as the dreamer, we 
learned all about the power of control and sheer will with the chariot. However, the time we spent with the hermit has put us in touch with our more spiritual side. We've discovered that there's another way to power our dream besides pure determination. We can do it with kindness. The exercising of compassion is a critical aspect of our journey of, of an, on our journey of enlightenment. With the strength card, we just, we discover a very beautiful woman working in concert with a oh a type oh in that in the angel tarot it's a tiger not a lion that's the strength card in the angel tarot um One of nature's most powerful animals, her kindness towards the tiger has brought her cooperation that she could never have attained with brute force. Doves of peace fly ahead of this duo as they move further, further along in their adventure. The lady and the tiger will need patience since they're only halfway through their journey. Uh, okay. This card is in Leo, a sign of loving, ambitious, powerful, a, a sign that is loving, ambitious, powerful, and loyal. And of course, Leo has a flair for the dramatic, like taking a ride on a tiger. Leo is very idealistic and broad minded, which allows this sign to see others without feeling the need to judge their path. Leo is very humane in its viewpoint of the world, which is in line with Archangel Ariel and the way she sees planet Earth and all its inhabitants. Okay, so... Um, have, you, have you been thinking about... Well, you got your cat statue. Have you been... Has there been any, any other cats in your world? Or has that been a theme for you lately? I'm just seeing cats here. I mean, I know you're a cat person, but that's beside that. Um, that's just one thing. Uh, so a black cat keeps coming around. How funny. I have three black hats. They're special. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because I'm seeing def. I, I'm, yeah. So, uh, yeah. It feels, yeah. It feels, yeah. Okay. So, this is coming up for you, this cat. Have you interacted with it much? Because it feels like you haven't a whole lot, maybe. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, um, yeah, a little bit. There isn't, there isn't a whole lot yet it's really up to you how how you feel about that there you're you're the only barrier in the way when it comes to interacting with this cat i feel that your guides are showing me this because it's it would be good for you um if if you're ready if you're into it if you've been thinking about it you're getting validation on that point about about the cat if not that cat it could be a different cat, but it's definitely a message. Um, yeah, just not yet connected, I'm hearing. Just not, not yet really connected. Like, you've been really holding back. Um,
Right. So. Yeah. So you've been holding back. You're like, should I, shouldn't I, do I want to get involved with this? Like, oh, like I want to, but I don't kind of, right? Like you've been kind of. <laughs> uh, so this little, this little cat in your world can turn into a big cat in your world is what I've seen. So it's up to you to decide to, to, to make this little cat into a big cat in your world because it would be a big cat in your world. Any cat in your world is a big cat in your world. But it's, it's a thing. It's definitely a thing. You've been holding back. Um, understandably, you've been holding back. But, but there's really nothing in the way other than you, your decision. Um, about this cat and, and, and your involvement with it, however that might go. Um, you're really, it's obviously, it's totally in your power to dictate that. But what I'm seeing is that it's, it's like any time now you can fill the void and it's, it's okay. Like you've gone through your period of of no cat time and it's okay anytime now once you feel ready to, to bring that energy in again um, that you felt really free for a long time not having that this responsibility not having that going on and feeling connected in a different way but um and needing to shift your energy so it so that it's kind of like that's happened and, but being like what you are and who you are and, and how you are with cats, um, that's just, it's a natural thing for that to, to need to be in your world. And to some periods of time without a cat in our lives, I've been there, but we, but it, it's like it, it, they come back not just because they're cats, because they're meant to. So, um, so yeah, so, so just, you know, marinate on that for a little bit, see how you feel about it. And, you know, it's not to, to get you to do anything you're not ready to do. You're just, it's just being kind of, sh it's, it's a thing. It's a thing that's going on with you, with you, obviously seeing this kitty here. Um, And they're saying it's okay if you're not yet ready. Like, don't feel like, okay, I got to go and do this right now. Like you could take, you know, take a few days, take some time to think about it, what you want to do with all that. And, and, but, um, but it, it's not like, should you fill in the blank or whatever. It's just totally up to you. It's like, it would be good for you if you did, but it's also good for you if you don't, if you're not yet ready and prepared for that in your life, you can take some more time, but it's, it is a, a recurring theme that'll definitely is like opening up the door for you right now. And, and it, it would be good for you. It's just a void, you know, it's just kind of a void when you don't have um, an animal in your life or if you're a cat person, have a cat in your life. And it's been a couple few months and um, she has rubbed against you before when you're outside. Yeah. She really likes you. She, she really likes you. They're showing me that she's, she's like totally into you. So, <laughs> Um, and a real sweetie too. Like there's, there you go. <laughs> um, is there anything else here? Did you get any bamboo? Or have you thought about getting some bamboo plants? Or if not, get some. That would be good. Or more if you already have some. 
Like, you know, those little bamboo plants. I need to get one of those. <laughs> no? Okay. Well, um, next time you see one, if you can, they're not usually very expensive. The next time you see one, take it home and put it next to your Batat's um, statue. Those two go together really, really well. The, those two energies they're showing me going together really, really, really well. You just got bamboo toothpaste? Bamboo toothpaste? I've never heard of that. That's cool. Yeah, so next time you're out and about and you see a little little plant of, of bam, uh, a little bamboo plant, it'll be like under 10 bucks. So you're not going to spend like a lot of money on it, just a little one. Put it next to your batat. Um, batat. I have a hard time saying that. I always want to say basset and it's not. Oh, okay. Toothbrushes. Oh, I, yeah, you wrote toothbrushes. I don't know why I said, thought toothpaste. I'm like, bamboo toothpaste? Interesting. Making everything out of bamboo these days. Okay. Um, is, is Willow back from her walk? Miss Willow. <laughs> I love my bamboo toilet paper. And you want to hear something really interesting about that? I have it on a subscribe on pay, on uh, Amazon. And I just got it. I just, well, I told you the day that I got it, Karen. I, you and I had been chatting. I'm like, look what I got. And it's supposed to come like, I think once a month is what I have it set up for. And I had a, uh, so I got it like three, something like that. And then I got an email saying, oh, in the next week, you're going to be getting, it's going to be getting ready for shipment or whatever. And I was like, okay, I have time and I don't need any more. I barely use like a roll. I was like, oh, geez, I don't need any more. I'm going to, and I'm like, I thought I've said it for, oh yeah, I thought I said it for two months because it's just me. And six big old rolls of toilet paper. I don't go through that in a month. Um, so I was like, oh, I think two months. But anyway, it said that it was coming. And I was like, that seems really early. And I'm like, I'm going to have to change that because I don't need it. And then I had a week. It was like, it was like, change your prescription or subscription, whatever, by this date. And it was like a whole week away. And I was like, okay, I have time to do that. The very next day I get an email, you're toilet paper is shipped. And I'm like, what? No, I didn't need that. I was like, damn it. I even tried to cancel it. And then I got a confirmation. It's on the way there. And I'm like, okay. And I get this toilet paper and I'm like, I have so much toilet paper now. And the first thing that came, I'm like, I don't need all this toilet paper. And you know, the next thing that came to my, that hit me. Yes, you do. And you'll be grateful that you have this extra toilet paper. You'll see. And I'm like, another week goes by and then there's literally no toilet paper to be seen anywhere. And I have like double the amount of toilet paper that I would have and should have had. That's divine interference because I never would have bought more toilet paper ever. Not knowing what was going to happen. I have a thing, a whole thing of toilet paper, bamboo toilet paper that I just bought. So why would I, why would I want that? <laughs> toilet paper. The one thing in the world nobody can get. I get it a whole month ahead and a week ahead of when I was supposed to get it. I mean... Yes, I love it. I love it. Love it. It's expensive. I'm not going to lie, but I don't care. You know what I mean? Like I got to that point where I'm just like, if I'm not participating in, in the destruction of, of trees, even if it costs a little bit more, 10 bucks more for, for a pack. So it's like 15 bucks for 12 rolls or something of bamboo, three ply toilet paper. Um, it's called no trees. 
and it's super soft. It's like a different kind. It's like super smooth, super smooth feeling. It's, you don't need a whole lot of it. Um, and I love it. I'm, I'm so glad that I got it and I'm happy with it. And I got double what I needed. Um, yeah, you do get some bamboo toilet paper. Well, when you can, I hope everybody has enough <laughs> has enough toilet paper. Okay. So Willow, we're going to get in, into it with you, my dear. I'm going to leave the, the lady of the new woods out. We're not putting her back in. what card we got she even looks like you okay <laughs> lady titania be joyful with the little dragon oh they're so cute look at that face I love it how sweet is that? That is so sweet. Be joyful. I feel like this is a per perfect card for you right now. I feel that you're joyful already. I feel that this is just going to further empower your, your bliss chip. Uh, card number five. Lady Titania, be joyful. Celebrate yourself. There is no true happiness without joy and being who you are. Over this next moon cycle, the forthcoming 28 days and a half, 28 and a half days, many opportunities will come to you to play, revel, dance, and explore the moonlit and joyful part of yourself that has been truly too long neglected. It is time to come forth from a place where you have been taking shelter and quiet time and partake of the joy of good, sweet company. Know that everyone, including the beings of the dragon fae, is delighted and happy to know of your ability to delight in your own self. Speaking of entertaining the your guides, celebrate and we celebrate with you. Hail joyful kindred spirit and be welcome to the feast. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's hilarious. Fairy Queen Titania's name means literally daughter of the Titans. The Titans were the elder gods who were the children of heaven and earth and sprang from chaos along with the dragon fae who were also born of the divine. Damn straight. <laughs> they included Saturn, Rhea, Oceanus, Hyperion, and others. In Ovid's Metamorphosis, Titania is another name for Diana, as well as other goddesses of the night, queens of the shadowy world, ruling over its mystic elements and powers. So there is no separation. The Titans are the goddesses. The goddesses are the dragon fae. Like Isis, who personified the feminine generative principle of universal nature, Diana and the others are all nature goddesses. So rather than being a diminutive creature of delicacy and daintiness, Tatania is tall and very powerful and very strong. She is of the elfin race where the height and the features are very pronounced with enough dragon fate blood in her veins to ensure she is a creature who can fly and enjoy for many millennia. She is one of the oldest ones still with us, and yet her path for this time and for you is to help to celebrate with others the joy of being alive. Boop, boop, boop. What do we say earlier? Celebration of life. What do we say? Yes, is exactly they're like all dancing around going celebration of life. Do you dance around naked? Uh, 
Oh, goodness gracious. Just as you are feeling old, despairing, and fatigued, she will sweep you up in her strong arms, show you the treasures of your life, and lay out a feast for you to partake in with others of your kind. Because being lonely and isolated is no longer an option for you. Oh, how funny. <laughs> Divinatory meanings, bringing people together in life-changing, sacred, and meaningful gatherings, mothering others joyously, being greater than you appear to be, understanding the need for joy and happiness in gatherings, the delight in the company of soulmates, family agreements, and packs that are reinforced through celebration, coming together in community with friends, finding your soul family, being protected and nurtured by friends and soul family. Working with Tatania, connecting with others at gatherings, even if they are very small. Consider hosting gatherings of like-minded souls. Be prepared to balance your inner extrovert and introvert. Understand the need for family and for you to nurture those connections. Very, very deep connections with others can still be playful. So what I saw here during that before we move forward in any kind of way, because holy shit, girl. Wow. <laughs> seriously with this holy moly um what i saw with this is you like you normally take care of your on uh, and you help help your parents with with the kids with your brothers and sisters that i even saw through this that like that group may be expanding for you that you're like so good with kids and during this time where people are going to need more help um, with their children and stuff that you may, I don't know if this has come up at all for you, but there may be something going on in the community or with friends with this, with this whole thing with the virus where, um, they're like, after people understand that, like, okay, we're not with each other and we've been isolated see like after certain groups of people have been isolated really really isolated not fucking around with it you know with kids and stuff and when everything after there, there's that like time of quarantine then people can commingle more and i'm kind of seeing this in, in the future especially since like school's out for the rest of the year there's like this this what are we gonna do thing and i th see things really kind of evolving for you in this like group more like it, it group growing kind of thing does any of that make sense at all because that's kind of what i saw with that aside from the like the the connections with spirit like you talking about you connecting more in this whole like joyous fun exchange that you're having more and more with them like that was definitely a thing and especially with the dragons like your connection with the dragons and and the fae and the fairies have have really kind of the more that you've been working on and with your portals and connecting in that way, that's all ramped up a lot. It's almost like you're, as you're doing that, you can just kind of feel them all sitting around you and just kind of like doing it with you. Um, does that feel like, uh, that's what they're showing me. So there's like two different groups going on, like your own solitary group. That's like really abundant, but then you also with, with a bigger group of children. Um, if you don't know about that right now, or whatever, that just could be something that comes up for you, um, in the nearish future in regards to this whole kind of thing. So there you go. I think that's really cool. And you look really happy with it too. Like you're just like, like in it, like a pig and shit, like happy, like so happy with other little piggies and shit. Just so happy. Like this is the best. Like, <laughs> um, yeah, so that, that, that's all really cool. You already watched five other kids. Is this a newer thing? Maybe that's what I'm seeing then. Cause they're showing me a bigger group of kids than your, is that a newer thing? Well, it may be even bigger than that. I don't know. Or it may be changing or it may be evolving in its own way. But I see a lot of kids around you. Just a lot of kids. <laughs> and that could be changing in its own right. But um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that you, that it was mostly, like you had mentioned that you, that 
there was, you know, the neighbor kids around or your friends kids around, but I didn't know that that was like a all the time thing. Um, but anyway, I think that, that, I mean, that's a lot for one person, but it could be even more than that, or there could be even more than you. Like it could turn into a you and somebody else helping to kind of do a, a daycare kind of thing, especially with this whole like no school thing coming up. Dragon daycare. Yeah. Dragon daycare. Yes. Yeah. I'm feeling it, girl. Seriously. Like, yeah. So anyway, this could be a real thing for you in the future. And, and, um, and not that you're going to be like, okay, I'm your new school teacher since we're all out of school. No, it's not going to be like that. It's going to, it's going to be truly like, like, um, I mean, you'll be teaching them in your own way. It's going to be very, you know, like you already do very creatively focused nature creation, all that stuff. But I see that being, being a, a bigger thing for you, but you just like, like, again, like I said, you, you just being really, um, you thrive, you thrive there. So, so I just see more of that, more of that for you. Um, Okay, guess that's it. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, what we're gonna do now is take a little break. We're at 333 23 with three people, three likes here. 33330. 30. Wow, why three is happening at this moment. Um, and we're done. We just finished at 333 three, 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 three into this. We have yet to get to our I knew was this is gonna be a while. This is gonna be a long one. I knew it. Um <laughs> you make mud piles in the backyard, but there you go. I literally see you just like in mud. That's funny. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just literally seeing her playing. Um, like, like barefoot, like in mud, like playing with the playing. Like, yes, your inner child is definitely present. Definitely. And it's so perfect for you with these kids. It's like you're that perfect mix of adult and and child energy that that and connected in a spiritual way that they just kids just love you. Kids love being around you. And and so anyway, prepare yourself. There could be more children. Um, cause you're known for this and it, and it may not just be you, it could be other people too. And, and like I said earlier, just this whole like revamping of community and what we're doing, what we're doing with our kids and, and coming together as, you know, family units and soul groups and all this stuff, everything is, is in a new thing. So that's definitely part of it. How fun. <laughs> How fun. Okay. Very cool so cute that is i just this picture this draw it's just so this illustration picture drawing whatever you want for this so cute all righty guys so there we are um that was fun hope you enjoyed it so like i said um i need to eat before we do the meditation it is 7 51 are you guys still on board to do the meditation you're very welcome very, very welcome, my loves. Um, yeah, doing readings nowadays is really fun for me, more than it ever was before, because the the information that I'm that I'm getting and picking up on is just really kind of ridiculous, and it's it's so much fun to to to, to pick up on the things in the way that I I have been recently. Um, so yeah. <laughs> You're very welcome. 